The goal of this demonstration is to show you how simple it is to use FS Reader to improve your JAWS skills. FS Reader is a DAISY book reading software that comes with every copy of JAWS. DAISY stands for Digital Accessible Information System. FS Reader can read most DAISY files, even those from other content creators, but what you may or may not know is that it's also a portal to a plethora of free training material. I'll walk you through getting FS Reader started, and then I'll show you the simple steps you need to take to start improving your JAWS skills. Let's get started. I recommend you open FS Reader through the JAWS user interface, since when FS Reader opens from the JAWS Help menu, Training, it automatically loads the table of contents. To do this, we want to go to the Help within the JAWS menus. First, switch focus to the JAWS interface with Insert J. JAWS Professional. Next, press Alt-H to open the Help menu and then the letter T for Training. Alt-H, Menu, Application Menu. Command search insert plus space, J, T, leaving menus, FS reader dash table of contents, JAWS training materials table of contents heading level 1, page has 3 headings and 24 links. FS reader opens. Focus is in the document pane on the right side of the FS reader window. If JAWS starts reading the text of the table of contents automatically on your computer, just press control to stop speech. I'll close FS Reader now and show you another way to open it. I'll press Alt F4. Alt F4, JAWS Professional. FS Reader closes. Alternatively, you may also open FS Reader through the Start menu. I'll do that now. I'll press the Windows key to open the Start menu, and then I'll start typing FS Reader. When I hear JAWS speak the application name, I'll press Enter to open it. Search box edit, F, S, FS Reader 3, desktop app, press right to switch preview, enter, FS Reader dash untitled. If you choose to load FS Reader through the start menu, the JAWS training table of contents does not load automatically, but it's no big deal. Just press Control J, which I'll do now. Control J, JAWS training materials table of contents heading level 1, table of contents, page has 3 headings and 24 links. And there it is. No matter how you got here, FS Reader is now open. Let's make sure the FS Reader window is maximized to show as much on the screen as possible. I'll press Alt Spacebar followed by X to maximize FS Reader. Alt Space, Menu Bar, Menu, System Menu, Restore Unavailable. X, Leaving Menus, JAWS Training Materials Table of Contents Heading Level 1. The Table of Contents and JAWS Training Books are in HTML format, which means you can use the same keystrokes to read with as you do on web pages and in HTML help systems. The user interface has a tree view on the left side of the window called the Navigation Pane, and the text of the book on the right side of the window in the Document Pane. You can navigate between the two by pressing F6. I'll press F6 now. F6, Tree View. Table of contents by the FS Training Department opened. One item. Focus is in the navigation pane, which is a tree view. I can use up and down arrow keys here to choose an item in the tree view. If an item is closed, press right arrow or just click the plus sign with a mouse to open the closed item. Level 1. JAWS Training Materials Table of Contents Closed. One of one. JAWS Training Materials Table of Contents Opened. Two items. Level 2. JAWS Basic Training Daisy Books, 1 of 2. Pressing Enter on a heading here starts narrated audio at that precise location in the book. I'll press Enter now. Enter. JAWS Basic Training Daisy Books, 1. Link. I pressed Control P, Papa, to pause the narrated audio. Control P is a toggle keystroke to play or pause narrated audio in FS Reader. To review the text of a book, I'll press F6 again to move into the document pane. F6. I'll press Control Home to move to the top of the document pane. JAWS Training Materials Table of Contents. Here, as mentioned before, I can navigate as if I were on a web page. There's regular text, links, and headings, which you can easily browse using navigation quick keys, such as H for headings, the JAWS list of links, or the arrow keys, and more. 
I'll move to a specific section and show you how I can review with reading commands or choose to play narrated audio. I'll press down arrow to move to the list of two items after the first paragraph. Blank. Heading level 1 JAWS training materials table of contents. Blank. Welcome to FS read materials as keystrokes you blank. List of two items. Bullet press F1 to open the getting started with FS reader daisy book. Focus is on the first bullet point which JAWS just read with synthesized speech. Now, I'll press Ctrl P to play the narrated audio at this exact spot. Press F1 to open the Getting Started with FS Reader Daisy Book. And Ctrl P again to pause the narrated audio. It's really that easy. And the best part is, you can listen and practice at the same time. I can read and control media within FS Reader, of course, but I can also open a document to practice and continue reading and controlling playback with FS Reader in the background. You don't have to press Alt-Tab to move back and forth while practicing. Just leave FS Reader in the background and play or pause the narrated audio while you practice working in the document or program you're in. Here's a review of the steps we covered today. First, open FS Reader through the JAWS Help menu. Second, press F6 to move between the navigation pane or the document pane as needed. Third, press Ctrl P on a heading in the navigation pane to start playing narrated audio at that point from the tree view. Fourth, press Ctrl P from anywhere in the document pane to start playing narrated audio there as well. And finally, in the document pane, navigate as you would on a web page. Choose a link within the document pane to open a new book and read text with the reading commands, or use the FS Reader toolbar media commands with your mouse to control playback. Thanks for joining us for this overview of FS Reader.